Welcome to the Kings of Nerds After Show. I'm your host, Edward Crane, and let's talk about last night's episode of King of the Nerds. Well, episode four. You're watching this Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or whenever you watch my video, BT Dubs. Happy Valentine's Day, or as I like to call it, instead, National Forever Alone Awareness Day. Yep, that's right, your buddy is forever alone. I know it comes as a shock, but it's a thing I've been living with all my life, and I can beat it. So let's talk about that team switch. I thought it was pretty interesting how they um, switch teams. Though I thought, though I didn't really expect it this episode. I was expecting it more like next episode because like they could have made a comeback this episode, but uh, also it was kind of ironic that Katie was like, I'm glad I'm not on that team and looked like a few episodes back and now she's on the um, yellow team. Ooh, I gotta say, that kinda hurts. Now Katie's on the gold team, minus touch attack. Oh, Katie's not really taking well with her new team, because it's all terrible over there. I mean, <clears throat> she got more upset, like, the time, the science fair, and then when she was crying in the bathroom, and I feel bad for her. Also, her hair doesn't match her team anymore. Is there no justice in this world? Alright, now let me talk about the nerd war. Robot Dodgeball. Is there anything any cooler than that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Evidently, the coolest thing ever is Optimus Prime riding a Tyrannosaurus Rex carrying a sword and shield. Evidently, that's the manliest thing ever, but this is a close second. The huge robot, he was like totally epic, like, I'd never seen him before, but he was so badass, and at first I thought, like, is there a guy in there? But no, it's an actual fucking robot, which is cool as hell. I mean, we're getting to that age where robots will be able to walk and talk and, well, artificially think. Wait, hold up. Could it be from Skynet? Is this Skynet? I mean, did Skynet go live? Is that what happened? Nicole got burned. Literally. I mean, she like burned her face. Psst, ah. I could say it happened, but um, I don't know anyone that's ever hot glue gunned their face. Um, that looked like it hurt, and that was pretty bad. If I learned anything from Dodgeball, a true understory, is that you need to do five things in order to win dodgeball. Duck, dodge, dip, dive, and dodge. Now, robots, they can only do about two of those things. They can only dodge and dodge. They can't duck. They can't dip. They can't dive. Only dodge. Now, out of the designs of the robots, uh, I mean, overall, they look kind of stupid, no offense or anything, but Katie's is the only one that, like, seemed cool, like, out of all of them, so, I don't know why the judge, uh, chose, like, Times of Rigel, it just, it sucks, they can't catch a break, it's ironic, you know, that when, t if we're going back to mythology, Midas, who the team is named after, M Minus anything he touched turned to gold. At first, it seemed like a blessing. At first, like, oh yes, I can turn this into gold. I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. But sooner on, he w realized it was more of a curse and that bad things were going to happen. So that's what I think is happening to Midas Touch Attack. Their curse because Midas, it was cursed. And I think that's kind of interesting in theory. Now, when Zack lost the nerd war for the team, well, first of all, it was sudden, like, 
I blinked and I missed half of it. Like, literally, he got out that fast. But, um, I did kind of feel bad because he was starting to cry and he was upset. I mean, I know he, what he's done in the past wasn't totally okay, but still, he's a human being. Just like me, you, that one guy you know at Walmart. Now, as you know, this is their third week in a row of losing a challenge. Can't catch a break. And this is also the third time that Zach was put in the nerd off. And his face when they, um, when they had the reveal. His face when they had the reveal. It was like, to Nicole, it was like, I was like, oh my god, he's gonna, like, totally kill her. And I was like, I kind of feel bad because it doesn't seem like he has a lot of friends in there. It's like, the whole house is against him, but the times of Rigel, who want to keep him around. One thing I was wondering about last season and this season, what if both teams send one person to the nerd off? Does that mean that person's automatically eliminated, or do they have to do a re-vote? That's what I want to know, and I think they should do that to Zack, just because I'm so curious. Now, this no zombie nerd off was totally awesome. Like, especially, like, all the body parts falling, it was like, it was like fun for me to watch, because I'm a sadistic little fucker. Wait, Ivan? Joshua? Genevieve? Ivan, your zombie plan failed horribly. You're dead. Genevieve's dead. Joshua's dead. Joshua! I liked how Nicole was, like, trying to psychologically mess with Zach, which I appreciate um, her trying to do that, give her an edge, because it is a cutthroat game, and it was kind of fun watching him squirm a bit. Honestly, this was a nail-biter. I honestly thought, oh my god, Nicole's going home! And then, oh, it was only 44. Oh my god, Zach's going home. Totally, totally, totally. Oh, 144. And then, pfft, ah, 149 by the skin of her teeth. And then, oh my god, I was just like, it was almost anyone's game. But Zach looked out. And Nicole went bye bye. It's like Zach's indestructible. Like, he's like Jeb Genevieve and won three nerd offs. Will he beat her record? That's what I want to know. Can he make it to the end? Like I said, they need, both teams need to vote him into the nerd off. See what happens there because the merge is coming. The merge is coming. We have four episodes left. We've already reached half point. There's eight episodes in a season. This was episode four. Four episodes left. Come on, guys. If you want to win and don't want Zack to be king of the nerds, you gotta do this. Now, it's about this time where we X out Nicole. Nicole, I appreciate how you wanted to play the game. I appreciate that you were trying to, you were willing to make big moves. And that's what I like to see. That's what a lot of people like to see in shows like this. Yes choosing Zack, and choosing Zack to be your, like, leader wasn't the smartest move, but you didn't know. I mean, I'm sorry you had to go, I'm sorry you got burned, literally. Uh, I think you were one of my favorites to win, honestly. I thought you could make it to the end, and now there's only two people I'm still rooting for to get to the end. Katie and Xander. And since three in a row, the people I want to go to the end have gone out three in a row. I mean, I'm scared for Katie or Xander because one of them is you know, going home next episode, probably. Don't judge that on me. I'm just saying, everyone I love goes away. <laughs> it's a curse. I'm like Midas Touch Attack. <laughs> <clears throat> now, let's X her out.
Sorry, Nicole. Tis the game. Will Midas Touch Attack finally win a challenge other than the first one? Will Zack ever grow up? Will Katie ever get used to her team? Will Curtis not be in drag next episode? Find out all this more next time. So, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. I am out.